is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Graffy here, and this is a DC Legends video. So, as I've been saying for a long time, this will be the first in the Problem Solver series. Now, initially what I wanted to do was go through each hero that people are having trouble with and go by them one by one. However, in this one, I think I'm going to kind of group these two together because you run into them a lot together, and that would be Arcus. Arcus is annoying because even though it takes him a while to get ramped up, once he does, his hits are devastating. So Arcus's A2 is the one that I like to use the most. I rarely even use his A3, and typically once he gets going, you don't need to. So this is where Arcus uses uh, Tumayan Fist on target twice, 80% chance to gain three strength ups and 10% shield, then target, then target attacks Arcus once, apply taunt um, to target and self. So I'm thinking this, if I did this, yeah, I could get it to 100%. So I, to be frank, I really don't use Arcus that much, but um, he is an incredible tune. Um, and then the other, if you figured out, you probably figured it out by now, if I said Arcus is one, then you probably already know who the other one is. And that is Azrael. Azrael is annoying because he's similar to start that over because I just got interrupted. Azrael is annoying because um, similar to Arcus, he stacks strength up so quickly. But and I think which one is it before I um, each time it's 75%. Chance, da, da, no, no, there is an ability that I just can't see right now. So forgive me. Um, Am I going crazy here? Am I losing my mind? Okay, so it's probably right in front of me and I'm not seeing it, so forgive me. But I'm really not seeing this thing. I'm really not seeing this thing. Strength ups apply additional damage. Uh, gain two strength ups and 25% shield. 50% chance to use vengeance blades. That is annoying. Uh, heavy damage to an enemy. Ignore shields if Azrael has true sight. Apply 50% turn. Where am, I, where am I missing it? Oh, this is the, the first one I went to is the one. I'm sorry. I, oh my God. I must be half asleep today. Anyway, 75% chance to use Holy of Holies when an ally receives damage. That is a problem because now you can't touch anybody. And then Holy of Holies gain four strength ups and 27% shield. You guys know what it is. That's why you're here because you know how annoying these two can be. So I'm gonna go into PVP and talk through how I um, address attacking them. The re and the, like I said, the reason I'm doing it for both of these is because they typically, you typically a lot of people run them together, but the approach to stopping them is the same. And the main approach that I use is um, stun. Now, what I'm going to do here, um, judging by this team, now what I want to do first and foremost, is I want to stun Azrael. Okay, check. Now they have a black flash on their squad and I just took off the guy who I think is key to stopping Azrael right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Martian Manhunter, put him in the squad, then I'm also gonna put Kilowog in the squad. Kilowog is important because he has an AOE that reduces turn meter, but also applies stun. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm tempted to put in Lady Shiva, and I have to say I was a bit harsh on Lady Shiva when I reviewed her. I think she has a really, really, really good tune, but I was a bit harsh in my review of her before. Um, I thought she was only, I thought she was good, but um, yeah, anyway, we're not even going to that. I'm not going to put Lady Shiva in for Black Flash because Black Flash is not the one I'm worried about. And in fact, let me go back. I'm going to add a Black Flash of my own because if I'm not putting in Lady Shiva, I need a Black Flash to counteract Black Flash. And then last but not least, we're going to have to deal with Black Flash at some point. Now, here's the thing. Black Flash is not exactly the toughest tune on the planet. Um, and so the debate comes in here. And so you guys know the style of this video is I'm going to talk through my thought process while I'm doing it. So like, I'm not I'm not going to be perfect. I'm going to make mistakes, but this is how I like talk myself through things. So I'm going to use Martian Manhunter for the turn meter. I have to because they have a Martian Manhunter and this is not going to work if Azrael gets to go before your team. 
Next, I have Black Flash. Now, what I'm going to do with Black Flash is use the A2 to reduce their turn meter, but not hit any of the teammates. There's no Taunter on this team. So the next thing I can do, and actually, because of Martian Manhunter, I probably won't even, I won't even use the A2. I'll use his A3 because those awarenesses will be up. So I'll be able to fully deplete the turn meter. Next goes Kilowog. He stuns Azrael. And then I just hammer Azrael until he's gone. Um, Black Flash, I think, should be able to take out... So you know what we're going to do? I could either put in Power Girl, Bleez, or Donna Troy as the taunter. I'm leaning towards Power Girl because she can take a hit and Kilowog will give her strength ups based on that, enhanced strength ups based on that. So that's the team I'm going to go with. It's a heavy energy affinity um, team. But the idea here is that I'm going to take out Azrael first. Most importantly, let's go ahead and do this. So now here comes Kilowog. We stun him. And now we're going to try to take out Azrael as best as possible. Boom, Azrael gone. Here comes Larflees, you jerk. I'm going to try to stun Black Flash here real quick. Didn't work, but that's okay. Now we go into the annoying parts of should I I'm gonna go ahead and do this now get some shield too, some extra protection then go ahead and taunt but as I'm talking through the rest of this you saw how easy it is once you get Azrael stunned just attack him quickly as quickly as possible and then you're and then it's over with now of course there are other situations where that's not going to be as easy i just showed so i'm going to try to find other comps where that is the situ where it's a more difficult situation as i go through pvp so let's ah, just auto this i don't know why i'm still doing this on manual okay side note a good synergy i think i said this before kilowog power girl kilowog um Superman, if you don't have Kilowog, then I get, obviously this solution isn't going to work for you. But um, we'll go over another way to do this as well with a farmable tune. And in fact, before I even go into it, one way that you could have done this with a farmable tune would be to use a Hawk Girl because there were no taunters there. I used Kilowog, but honestly, I could have used Hawk Girl in that situation because I could have I could have hit him um, directly. Okay, so in this one we have Arcus. Arcus is a different uh, beast altogether simply because it's only if you hit him that he's the problem. If you don't hit him, then you're okay. Now I could still use, and now I have a taunter here that's gonna be bothersome because I have a black flash in there. And I wanna also touch Arcus, which makes me think Kilowog again. I should be giving you guys other options. And knowing how the RNG has been working for this game, basically, apparently Harley Quinn never enrages when she's on my team, but she always enrages when she's on the other. So I'm going to go ahead and put Green Lantern in, which then puts us at a speed disadvantage. We're going to have a problem with the speed. Hmm. How should I go about this? Should I sacrifice the debuff immunity and take the 50 50 chance on harley quinn giving us enrage which is more like a 90 10 percent chance or should i stick with green lantern try to withstand their attacks that's going to be hard because black flash is going to reduce turn meter so we're going to be stuck there for a while um another alternative would be superman because once Sup superman is annoying when he's at lead and there's a critical shot and if they're all doing aoe attacks which harley quinn and black flash are going to start off doing then that means that one of those is going to be critical and superman is going to proc um then arcus goes at superman and he can't really take him out uh so now one thing i might do let's see let's see let's see first first things first get rid of harley quinn i think i can do that with martian manhunter and probably should i pull him in why not? Okay. I'll pull him in. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to put in Black Lightning. And then next, because we want to get rid of that Black Flash, and we're not worried about... We're not worried about um, retaliation. 
Uh, but Lady Shiva won't be. Then this is the part where I got kind of critical of Lady Shiva. She can't do anything about this situation because her AOE will take out, will hit them all through the awareness. She ignores the awareness. However, I'm taking a chance by doing. I'm taking a chance by doing that because that means that Arcus has a chance of proccing, which then creates a problem for us. So what the oh, duh. Sorry guys, I'm overthinking the whole thing. I'm going to try to go with Star Sapphire. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you've seen me use Star Sapphire to neuter Arcus. So the way this is supposedly going to go, if Harley Quinn doesn't enrage us, I am going to use the A2 on Black Flash. Then I'm going to use uh, the A3 on Martian Manhunter, hopefully to take out or stun at minimum Harley Quinn. Then mm, should I remove Black Lightning though? Well, no, we'll see. Because then Black Lightning also on his A3 can remove debuffs or can remove buffs. And before they did the rework of Green Lantern, which shows you how long I've been playing this game, my way of getting rid of Harley Quinn was to use a combination of um, Assault Suit Lex um, and Black Lightning. See, she of course enraged because that's what she does. And now it's going to be very hard to neuter Arcus because she enraged. Ugh. So if we ever get a turn, which we probably never will, let's go ahead and leave this battle. Oh my God, I hate Harley Quinn so much. She never does what she wants you to do. Although I can't complain that, like I think the last video, the video before last, for some reason, Harley Quinn went nuts and outshined. I can't remember who this, I think it was Shiva. No, no, it was, it was um, Gorilla Grodd. She outshined him completely because she just took over the entire match. All right, so what we're going to have to do is hope that we can withstand the waves. So in order to help withstand the waves, I am going to remove Black Lightning, put in Donna Troy. Donna Troy I'm putting in for the awareness. Um, in the beginning, these tunes don't buff that much so she won't be handing out that much awareness but i'm trying to get that awareness because i know the first things first or should i put in my own harley quinn they don't have let's see if harley quinn does something nice for me today let's see this harley quinn i'm going to use to try to counteract the reason i'm putting her in is because i know that black flash is going to lead with his a3 and hopefully if she does what she's supposed to do I'm not even gonna count on the enrage, but if she does what she's supposed to do, then Black, then she should retaliate against Black Flash if she's missed. Oh, she actually enraged. And she missed, <gasps> it worked. All right, so now I am going to, because Arcus still has his awareness up, we're still safe here. I'm gonna go ahead, bang that. All right, so now I'm gonna use the A2. Reduce the turn meters in a normal situation. That's what the, the plan would be. Then I'm gonna use Green Lantern. Now, Star Sapphire is the one who's going to neuter Arcus. And now he's taken care of. The, put, the deep, put the buff immunity on him, so no matter what he does, no matter how many times we hit him, if he tries to do it, I'm gonna actually avoid hitting him. So you, well, you guys get what it is. But, uh, so no matter what he does, no matter how he wants to go about it, he can't do anything. He can't stack those strength ups. Not to mention, Star Sapphire is also giving him strength down, so he's even weaker than he would have been out of the out of the box. And there you go. So now I think the other one that I'm going to try to find is when you have that combination of Azrael and Arcus on the same team. So, and then after that, I'll go through the ones. I'll go through the tunes that. Oh, by the way, Star Sapphire, farmable in campaign, also farmable in red alerts. Um, so then once, let's see, do any of these, ooh, that green, that white lantern Sinestro. Okay, good. I don't have to deal with him right now. Because <laughs> this video is about Arcus and Ezreal. Let's see if I can find, ooh, what an annoying team. Chavo, if I'm saying your name correctly, you are evil. That is annoying. That is an annoying team. Okay. So, how do we go about this? Ah, I do want to have the speed. So, am I going to go with Cheetah or am I going to go with Martian Manhunter? 
Now I'm leaning towards Cheetah because in case something goes wrong, Cheetah can strip. In fact, mm, but Cheetah will still go first. So let me go ahead and put Martian Manhunter in here. So I'm going to build the team piece by piece. First thing I want to do is the lead. I'm going to go ahead and put Martian Manhunter in here. Okay. Now Kilowalk is a must here. Thankfully, they do not have debuff immu immunity. So I will be able to stun Azrael. Next, we're going to... And there is no awareness on... There is no awareness on... Um, Arcus. So what I may do is switch the game up a little bit. I've already shown you Kilowog. I'm gonna show you now maybe Wally West. Wally the West, Wally, <laughs> Wally the West. Wally West is one of my favorite tunes in the game. I love them. Uh, then what we may do here is showcase Star Sapphire one more time and how effective she is against Azrael and Arcus. And then to take care of Grundy, one of the most obnoxious. Ooh, how do we want to go about this? Now, Star Sapphire can take out Arcus on her own. What's going to happen is that somebody's going to crit and it's going to set off Superman. Now, usually my problem solver for Superman is Black Hand. And Black Hand will be useful in case Arcus goes off. But in this situation, if Superman has is taunting and Arcus is going off, then we're probably screwed. So we have to make a decision as to who, how we're going to handle Grundy. Hmm. So should I manipulate turn meter more? I would like to have a... And I'm not going to put my own Azrael in. I would like to have a heal immunity on him so that he can't rebuff that he can't um, revive that one time. But I don't know if that's absolutely necessary. So maybe if they're going to go with this, maybe I'll put in my Black Flash. Um, so you guys know I am a big proponent of manipulating turn meter. So. Or should I put in Donna Troy for added protection? You know what? I'm going to put in Donna Troy as an insurance policy. And in this comp, I don't really have anybody who's going to strip those buffs. But let's see how this goes. So the plan is here. I'm going to use Wally West to boost all of our turn meters. I believe after that, the Star Sapphire will be the next to go. And then once she goes... Oh no, Donna Troy is faster than Star Sapphire. This is going to be a big problem. This is going to be a huge, huge, huge problem. I probably should have put in Red Robin then. That is my fault. That was a huge miscalculation. Because there goes Azrael. So, might as well strip those buffs from him. Now we're going to still neuter... Arcus, but now we have to approach this a completely different way because now Azrael has been set off. Ugh. So, might as well hit him. <laughs> but yeah, this is not going to be, this is not going to work out in our favor. I can already see that coming. So, next thing I'm going to do is go back, replace Donna, replace Wally West with uh, Red Robin. And you'll see why soon. In fact, I'll just put this on auto from here on out because I don't think it's going to be, uh, or I'm pretty sure it's not going to be anything positive. Superman's going to keep taunting. Whole lot of awareness going out, though. Whole lot of awareness going out. I think that, uh, what is it, Star Sapphire, every time someone buffs that she gives them two or three mins. So that's a good look. But we won't have the strength to finish them off, I don't believe. Albeit, I'm not so sure that they'll have the strength to finish us off either. But now is the time when Arcus is going to, yeah, go off. So do we have enough awareness to deal with Arcus? Mm. Wow, it's looking kind of okay. I don't think it's going to be okay, but it looks like it's okay. 
I guess Donna Troy is a really, really good insurance policy to have if you have her. <laughs> if you ever see her frags in the void, make sure you save your lanterns and pursue her. Hmm. This is not at all how I thought this was going to play out. Oh, and thankfully, Star Sapphire has just neutered Azrael. Now, hopefully, we can get our, or hopefully, Arcus's, I think. After this turn, Arcus's uh, death immunity will fall off. Yeah. So then I don't think Star Sapphire has an AOE just yet. And Superman still has that taunt. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by all this. There we go. Now, somehow Azrael still has like 5 million strength ups, but we're in a much more manageable situation. And really, Star Sapphire, I do. Since she was already good before her rework, and now after her rework, which I'm, time means nothing to me anymore. I mean, it's been 2020, 2021. I don't know if her rework was last week or seven years ago. But um, before her rework, she was already a good tune, and now they made her um, like much, much better. So definitely farm her and pursue her. Because she is the one who's making this all work right now. Donna Choi's handing out awareness because of all the men's that uh, Star Sapphire is handing out. All those men's is, help, is helping us stay healed. And also that buff immunity is really, uh, really helped us out with Arcus. And is definitely helping us out with Azrael. We're actually going to win this. Now I think Superman is going to be the main problem because he's so obnoxious. But um, I think we're actually going to win this. Yeah. Those are the two big problems right there, and they're gone. Now just, you know, wait for the next week and a half when we're finally able to take out Superman. But here's the other thing, too. Superman has on every turn, everyone's turn, he removes a debuff. However, uh, with Star Sapphire, she can stack up so many debuffs on him that if he doesn't have the, you know, debuff immunity, she can stack up so many debuffs on him that some of the stuff will have will stick for a couple turns so some of the stuns will stick for a couple of turns some of the debuff some of the buff immunities will stick for a couple of turns because he's getting so many debuffs on him he can't keep them off of him so he has a stun that just got applied but that got that fell off but now the strength downs are still there now the debuff immunity will stay there for a little while because of all the other debuffs there so i mean wow that really worked out well. I'm kind of regretting it because I wanted to go back and show what would happen with uh, Red Robin in that position instead of Wally West. But, I mean, can I really complain? Not really. So after this, I'm going to go into the roster and then show a few tunes just to keep in mind when you see Arcus or you see Azrael or you see them together. I tried to give you a couple here, um, but I'll go through and just like go through my roster real quick and just say who would I look at if this was going to happen, just to see who you might have. So very quickly, as I look at this right now, clean, clean all. Okay. So if you're dealing with an Azrael or you're dealing with a Arcus, Star Sapphire showed her metal. She's great for that situation. Lex, you may think is good because he purges on that A1, but it's not really as useful as you would think it, uh, as you think it might be. Uh, Hawk Girl is the alternative to Kilowog that I was speaking of. She is farmable, I believe, in Chapter 6. She stuns on her A1 and her A3, I believe. And that stun if you get her to go first. So Martian Manhunter in um, at lead, if you have a Red Robin, if you have a Wally West, you, and there is no Taunter that's protecting Azrael, you can use Hawk Girl to stun him. Um, Bane, not so much. I was about to say Bane, but that's a lie. Killer Frost, same deal as with Hawk Girl. If you can get um, her turn meter manipulated in some way with one of your other tunes, then she's definitely uh, an option there. Um, so essentially anyone that stuns. Uh, let's see, Kilowog again. I love using Kilowog in those situations. Um, I think, does Jessica Cruz, I used to love Jessica Cruz. 
Jessica Cruz is so mid-game clutch. Uh, intelligence ups. She does, because she got a rework recently too, and I haven't really used her since her rework, because her kid, she's best when teammates die, and that just loses you stars. So, and I believe, oh, Cersei. If you want to be risky about it, Cersei does have a 30% chance of stunning on all of her attacks. With that AoE, I mean, it's a chance. So if you don't have the other ones, you can use her, but you're running a risk there. Saint Walker can be in, uh, can work if you are in a situation to where you don't have somebody that can stun or you think you won't be able to go first. Saint Walker can remove, I think it's 10 buffs, uh, five buffs from each enemy and apply 20% turn me. So in the very early of that match when they've procced and they don't have that 500 strength up stacked and they just have a few, you can purge them using Saint Walker. Um, one of the obvious ones is Wonder Girl as well. Wonder Girl, you'll be able to purge those buff and it'll call her whip. So for example, Azrael, you put Wonder Girl in knowing full well that she's got a very, very good chance to die. However, because he buffs so much, she's going to take out the rest of the team. He might be fine, but everybody else is dead. Um, let's see, I think that'll be Donna Troy. And then Black Lightning a little bit because he does purge those buffs similar to Saint Walker, but instead of doing it for all enemies, he does six from a single enemy. So if you have Arcus or you have Azrael and they're already buffing up a little bit, he can remove those with his electric blast. I really like Black Lightning. The, sh the show was terrible, but I do like him as a tune. Um, and I think that about, the oh, Impulse. Impulse was one that I used, I think I even put it in a video before where he stuns on his, what was it, A2? 7% turn meter down, 7% chance to apply stun to primary target. Also converts debuffs to speed ups on, so 70% chance out of the gate from his A2 to stun the primary target. So just make sure that Azrael is your primary target or Arcus if you're dealing with Arcus instead. And I'm pretty sure, and this move also does not hit. So just like with Black uh, Flash, I use the A2 so I don't set off anybody um, in the match. So I don't cause any damage. That way Azrael doesn't go off. Same thing here with Impulse. I can use his A2. It won't cause damage. I'm correcting that, right? Yeah, he doesn't do any damage on his A2, but I have a 70% chance of stunning, which is a pretty good chance of stunning Azrael. So I won't set anybody off in case the stun doesn't land. And if the stun does land, then I've, I've effectively taken Azrael out for the moment. So, and this is why you go through these things, because I haven't really used Impulse since I took him out. I think he's okay at best right now. All right, so... That will do it as I'm looking through, making sure that I'm, I'm clear on things. Mr. Freeze isn't a bad alternative, but he's not great either. Um, oh, wait, no, does Hawkman, I haven't used Hawkman in a minute. Uh, apply stun if the target has four or more strength downs. So the strength downs need to be on him already before he applies his stun, so. Boop. Okay, so in any case, I'll wrap it up here. I'll wrap it up here. I'm, I'm babbling and babbling and babbling. I'll wrap it up here. Oh, no. I can't wrap it up here. One more. I believe... Uh, apply stun and purge all buffs on target. Still, now this is why... And I'm so glad I went through the roster. I love Catwoman. I think Catwoman is great and I should have done... I really, I want to take her RB1, honestly. I think I'm going to do that next. I think she'll be my next one. Maybe. I'm still thinking on it because I think I just took Martian Manhunter L5. So I don't know if to take her or Martian Manhunter. In any case, her A3 is incredible because she will purge all those buffs and apply stun. So if you have the chance, and I believe she's farmable in red alerts. If you have the chance or if you have a Catwoman, don't underestimate what she can do. She's incredible. And she does work well against Arcus and Azrael. So, in any case, we'll end um, on Catwoman, one of my favorite characters of all time, period. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know if this was helpful for you. If you want more from this, if you want me to have more problem solver uh, videos, let me know. In any case, please like, please subscribe. See you guys next time.